So why would you want a pocket like this? Why would you want a black one? In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the Black Oak Bokken for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'll talk about all of its features, who would use this, why you'd want to train with this over other Bokken that we have for sale, and at the end, I'll put together a short montage of people training with Bokken. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Black Oak Bokken. So first things first, I actually want to talk about this particular weapon and what it is made from. So a lot of standard Bokken are made out of oak and this is absolutely no exception. So as the name suggests, it is an oak Bokken. Now is it made from black oak? No, it's not. I know the name says black oak, but it's black and it's made from oak and to be honest everyone across the board that sells this particular type of bokken this style of bokken calls them black oak so it is slightly misleading and i do apologize but you know that's just kind of what they're called so yes they are black but it's painted red oak so red oak is super super durable really hard hardwood and loads and loads of martial arts especially japanese martial arts use red oak as like the standard for their for their training weapons we obviously have the white oak as well which is which is a lot lot whiter than the red oak but black oak is extremely expensive and not that common so i'm sure there are bokken that are made specifically from from black oak but in terms of the benefit that you'll get, apart from just like the coloring and seeing the grain in the wood, in terms of strength, it won't make any difference between black oak, red oak, or white oak. So this has been painted black. So yeah, it is misleading, but that, that is just the way that you can get yourself a black colored Bokken without having to pay crazy prices for it. Now I have seen other black Bokken in the past. I've seen ebony Bokken, Ebony is an extremely dense wood. It's so heavy, in fact, that it sinks when you put it in water, which is very unusual for wood. This is not ebony. This is not black oak. This is an oak bokken that's black colored. So it also is no difference in price from the red oak bokken. So yeah, it does allow you to train with a black colored bokken without paying, paying crazy prices and without you you know, getting very red, difficult to source wood. So why would you want a Bokken like this? Why would you want a black one? Well, a lot of the ninjutsu guys do like to get black weapons. They like they like that kind of theme. The, the whole concept of being stealthy and like sort of uh, not being able to be seen so easily, the black Bokken really appeals to these guys. See, we do get a lot of ninjutsu guys buying these. We also do get people that just want to train with Bokken, train with mates, and they'll just pick them, pick one. They're not necessarily bound by their particular style or going with the going with the flow or you know, jumping on the wagon, as you tend to do with martial arts classes. It's always best to kind of get what everyone else has got. People that want to train with these on their own, they will tend to look at the Black Oak Bokken because it is really sleek, really nice looking. So a lot of a lot of guys will will get these. Other people that will buy the Black Oak Bokken are people that are fed up with having their Bokken pinched. So if you've got a whole class full of Red Oak Bokkens and you've got them all piled up in a corner, it's so easy just to pick up someone else's. People don't tend to want to scr scratch their name in or write their name into their Bokken and it does happen where people pick up each other's. If you've got a black one and no one else at your class has got one, then there's no chance that it's gonna get nicked or picked up accidentally. Now, in terms of functionality, there's absolutely no difference between these, the red oak and the white oak. So if you are doing an Aikido class and you know, you've had Bokkens go missing, there's absolutely no difference between this and any other Bokkens. So you definitely will be able to train with this. People, especially in an Aikido class, might give you funny looks if you turned up with this. But in terms of function and training, there's absolutely no difference. A few good reasons why you get yourself a black oak Bokken. So if you fit one of those, then this is the Bokken for you. So when you buy this Bokken, you also get the plastic suba and the rubber kind of holder, as it were, the rubber ring 
that goes with it that sits on the guard. Now I'm going to put this on here because I actually would like to sell this Bokken and once they're on they're on and occasionally for the Black Oak Bokken people don't want Suba on there. Now most of the time, especially with the Ninjutsu guys or people just using them for a bit of sparring practice, they will put the Suba on but I'd like to give the customer a choice. So here's the Suba that you get with it that will sit just above the handle. So just having a look at the dimensions, now this is a very standard Bokken in terms of length. So as you can see, it's around 39 and a half inches or 101 centimeters, very standard. Now Enzo Martial Arts, in terms of the width, I always try and get slightly chunkier Bokken than the norm. I think there's quite a lot of Bokken out there that for me personally are a little bit too skinny. So we always do our best to get the chunkier Bokkens. Now the black oak ones, we actually do pretty well with consistently getting the chunky Bokkens. In term, just to give you an example, you can see here the handle width is four centimeters or one and a half inches. So yeah, nice and chunky, good weight to them. Going on to the weight, these weigh in around 580 grams. Now this isn't always going to be the same, now, it does fluctuate a little bit. Wood is a natural product so the weights do vary slightly. If you have a specific like weight that you want, give us a call and we'll sort that out for you. Again, because wood does, does vary in terms of weight, sometimes you get some that are slightly end heavy or slightly handle heavy. If you do have a requirement, give us a shout, I can pick one out for you and we can get it sent out to you being the exact Bokken that you want. At Enzo Martial Arts, we pride ourselves on having a wide range of Bokken for the majority of people that train in martial arts. So as well as the Black Oak Bokken, we also have the Red Oak Bokken and the White Oak. We do the Foam Bokken, really good for sparring, and the Heavyweight Saburi Bokken. We do the Cold Steel Unbreakable Bokken, and for the Cold Steel Red, White and Black Bokken, we do Plastic Sayers so you can practice your drawing. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here is a short montage of people training with Bokken. Thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful, I hope you learnt loads about the Black Oak Bokken we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers!